Hi, this is Jason Semeliano again, here to bring you another tutorial on TIBCO application development. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to update a database table. If you have not already watched the previous tutorials that I've created for TIBCO application development, I encourage you to watch those videos by going to www.smarter.com. You see this website that I have my mouse hovering over. So go to that website and go to the section called TIBCO Tutorials and you will see a list of videos that were previously created for teaching people who are new to TIBCO on how to develop applications using TIBCO Designer. I believe though that will be very very useful in your growth as a TIBCO developer. So let us move on to this tutorial today about how to update data inside a database table. I'd like to show you what it is that we're going to update today. I have in my database, in my Oracle database, a table called book. And in this table called book, there is a field called price. What we will do in today's tutorial is to update the data of one of these records and increase the price 20 cents. You'll see the current price here is $10.80 for record number one. What we will do is we will increase this price by 20 cents, making it therefore $11. So let us move on to the TIBCO designer tool, which we will use to make this happen. This is the Smarter TIBCO Tutorials project that I've created previously in TIBCO Designer. So follow along with me and let us expand this business processes folder. What I'll do is I will create a new folder here for this new process we will create today. Right click on the business processes folder, select new folder. For the name, I'm going to rename this to update db table right click on the update db table folder and select add resource go to the process palette and select process definition that creates a new process definition rename this to update book click apply save double click on the update book process definition you have two default activities here to start and end activities. Right click on a white space, add resource, go to the JDBC palette and select JDBC update. That brings forth a new activity here, a JDBC update activity. I'm going to rename this to update book. You'll notice that one of the required fields is a JDBC connection and that is the shared resource that you must create in order to connect to the database. We have created that in a separate, in an earlier tutorial. So I'm going to show you what we have here. In the shared resources folder, go to the connections, JDBC, and you'll see a JDBC connection shared resource here that we created in a previous tutorial. So what you have here is a database URL for an Oracle driver. That is my host name, the local host, the port number is 1521 and the SID is XE. I have my my username there which is local DB and then I put in my password and I click test connection and I'm able to successfully connect to the Oracle database server which is installed here in my computer. So now that we already have this JDBC connection shared resource we can use it in our update book activity. So go back to that activity and in the JDBC connection field, click on the browse resources button there, select the JDBC connection from the dialog box, click OK. Now we're ready to put in our SQL statement or SQL statement. So follow along with me and type update book set Remember, we're trying to add 20 cents to the price of the first record. So we're going to say update book set price equals 
the current price, which is the price, the value in the price, plus 20 cents. Now, if we leave this as is, it's going to update all the records. So we have to put a where clause. Where, and you'll notice here that the field name is called book ID. So we're going to use that as the primary key. We're going to use that to specify that we're trying to update the first record. We're going to say where book ID is equal to, and let us use a parameter here, which we covered in a previous tutorial. So we'll say where book ID equals to the parameter. And that means you can pass data into this where clause. So when I put a question mark there, you'll notice that there's, a, there's an exclamation point here. So that means we have to create a parameter that is matching to that question mark. So from the previous tutorial, we were supposed to click on this button here. I'm going to name this the same as the field, book ID. Click apply. So we now have update book set price equals price plus 20 cents, where book ID equals to the parameter that we're going to pass. Since we have this parameter, we have to take, we have to put data into it by going to the input tab, expand this activity input. In the book ID, you can either pass data to this field from previous activities, but to keep it simple, we're just going to hard code the number one there. That will pass the value of one into the parameter of the where clause. So by the time we execute this program, it should execute update book set price equals price plus 20 cents where book ID equals one. You with me? Very good. So what do we do now? Well, of course, we have to connect the activities with transition lines. So I, I went to this button here to create transition button, and then I drag from activity to activity to create those transitions. I go back to the default to the default mouse setting, and I'm just going to make this look a little bit pretty because it's not so straight. So what do we do? We select all of them, and then we click align top sides that button on the top that you see there I click there now it looks nice and pretty all right so what do we do next before we run this anybody remember okay you're supposed to click this button right here it's called validate resource make sure that everything all the design time considerations were taken care of before executing the program so everything was successful. Click OK. So now we're ready to run this. Go to the tester tab. Click on this button, the start testing button. Click that. Select load and start current. And let's see what happens. Now the BW engine is starting. And it went from start to finish with no problems. So let's take a look at the data to see if it had been updated. Let us refresh this. Now you see that the price is $11. So for today's tutorial, mission accomplished. Now, as you can see, that was really, really simple to do. Did you see me writing any code to connect to the database and then uh, write more code to update the data in the database? As you can see, all I had to do was configure a very simple JDBC activity. And that's the beauty of TIBCO. It lets you not have to worry about the little details of application development. And you can focus on the architectural work and be more productive in your work as a computer programmer. Again, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. And also, thank you so much for your supportive comments in my previous tutorials. Every time you guys put a comment there telling me how you appreciate the tutorials, that, that really means a lot to me. So thank you for watching and thank you for commenting. I really appreciate that. And please stay tuned for more tutorials to come. So for now, goodbye and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.